Valentine's or at least the uh, happy Valentine's soon to come. Uh, today it's Sunday the 14th and in Norway it's Mother's Day so happy Mother's Day to all my Scandinavian viewers. Um, in today's video I thought I would show you how I decorate my dining room for uh, Valentine's. I don't do a lot of uh, decorating for Valentine's but I usually do a bit on my dining room table and a bit in my living room so I thought I would take you along. I started this video uh, this morning actually and as you can see it's dark outside uh, and that's because I have been making these cute small frosty lanterns with the hearts on them uh, and I thought that the first thing I would do is to show you how I make uh, these small uh, lanterns. Uh, it doesn't cost much and it's really decorative so here is how I made the lanterns. Hi guys, this is me from the future speaking. Uh, before we jump into the DIY, I just had to say that I've had some issues with my sound in this video. So uh, during the DIY, the microphone stopped working. So I had to do a voiceover on part of the video. So for this project, what you are going to need is some a glass jars, some frosted glass varnish, this sponge uh, pencil, uh, some paper and scissors to cut out a heart, uh, and this uh, clay or we call it uh, we call it uh, teacher's gum. Uh, use it to hang pictures or things on the wall. Some metal wires and some cutters. Uh, and it's important that the glass is really clean before you, you begin. So as I said, I've just cut out a heart from paper. I take a little bit of this clay or you can use a small piece of the tape or yeah like that and you just put the fasten or fasten the heart to the jar like that and then you are ready to put on the varnish and I start uh, applying the varnish around the heart so I can remove that afterwards so just dabbing on this frosted, and you don't have to use frosted uh, varnish, you can use uh, glass paint or, yeah. I use this glass varnish that gives a frosted look and I'm going to cook it in the oven on 160 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. There's the heart. And now being careful not to, to touch here, I apply the varnish to the rest of the jar. And when I'm done, it has to dry for 30 minutes. Uh, and then I put it in the oven, as I said, on 160 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. And that's my varnish. I'm sorry, but the label had fallen off. Uh, this is bought at a local 
uh, crafting store. Uh, you, you have to read the instructions on what you have, but that's uh, the cooking time for, for a mine. So I'll just finish up this and I'll put it in, I'll let it dry and put it in the oven. And here is where my mic stopped working. Uh, I'm making a handle for the lantern. I uh, started by cutting a piece of uh, metal wire. And on each end, I made a small loop just by using my pliers and twisting. Then I took another piece, a shorter piece of metal wire. Uh, and cut it to size to fit around the top of the lantern. I'm sure there's many way of, ways of doing this, but this is how I did it. Then I threaded the small piece of wire through the loops uh, of the longer uh, piece. Uh, when you do it like this, it's easier to, you can kind of, uh, uh, adjust the handle. Um, I tried another way by making small loops on the side of the shorter metal uh, uh, thread, but uh, I didn't. I couldn't make it work. Uh, I'm securing uh, the handle by twisting the two ends together in the back again with my uh, pair of pliers. And then I cut off the uh, access or a piece of the metal wire and just pushed it in uh, so I would not hurt myself on it. And that's the lantern all done. I made uh, 16 lanterns. I'm going to use 12 in uh, my tablescape. Here I'm babbling away, uh, unaware that you're not hearing me. And what I'm saying is that I am going to incorporate my Valentine's decor into my uh, existing winter decor. I've taken down the lights that I had previous, uh, but kept the snowflakes. Um, and are uh, going to uh, hang the lanterns. I used a bit, a little bit of the core sand in the bottom of the lantern to protect them from the heat. And I opted to go with red tea lights uh, just for a pinch of color. Um, to hang it, I used a thin uh, woolen not woolen, but cotton thread. Uh, I wanted to use uh, fish line, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll explain later why I didn't. Uh, and I hung the lanterns in different from different heights, uh, just like I've done with the snowflakes. And here you can see I've hung all my 12 lanterns. Then I went in with about 20 fake roses or faux roses. Um, and to hang them, I just bent the stem like I'm showing here. Uh, that's because I didn't want to, to cut it and it's an easy way to hang them. Uh, and I... I as you can see, I have bent the rose a bit, uh, and that's because when I hung uh, the rose straight, like I'm showing here, it looked like lined up soldiers. So it gives it a more uh, a more softer look by and more uh, real look by bending them a bit. So uh, I hung all 20 here and here you can see that and this is all I'm going to do with my pergola, pergola roof my lanterns my snowflakes and my flowers and then I turn my attention to the table 
And this is how it looked with the winter decor. So I'm removing the small balls with the stag heads and replacing them with these small white heart-shaped balls. And in the bottom of the ball, it says love you. So I'm not going to put anything in the balls. And for my Norwegian viewers, these are from Nilla. Just put one on each plate. Uh, and I also put two uh, chocolate hearts wrapped in red paper just for some color. Um, yeah. And as you can see, I've kept the the napkins and the napkin rings. They were heart shaped, so they, they fit it. I then removed the star-shaped pine cones, glittery stars uh, with small bubbly vases or vases with uh, one rose in each. The vase is from a Norwegian designer called Finchal. Many of you have seen it before. I just cut six of my roses pretty high up on the stem. And I also took one of the leaves uh, just for a bit of green. Hey guys, and of course, uh, the sound had uh, my microphone had run out of battery, so I've been filming and chatting with you, and you haven't heard anything, so <laughs> I've taken you off and I'll try to show you what I've done. Um, as I showed you, this is how it looks over the table. And on the table I have done it real simple. Just these heart shaped uh, bowls and a couple of red heart shaped chocolates and a napkin with a heart shaped napkin ring. And I've uh, switched out the pine cone glittery stars with the small fin shell bubbly uh, vases or vases. Um, and I will I will show you with the lantern slit and in daylight but this is how I made it today um, this is how far I made it today I'll have to continue tomorrow I just had to show you guys this is how it looks with a small lanterns all lit oh, I wish you could be here and see how it looks in real life because this is not doing it justice uh. So cute. Okay, guys, that was my Valentine's decor. Uh, as you saw, uh, or you haven't seen yet, as you are going to see, uh, I haven't done a lot uh, to the rest of the house, just some small pieces here and there. Uh, you will see some wooden hearts with uh, pictures on. That's from my Valentine's decor last year. I have a video on that. I will link that below. Um, I hope you got inspired to try. You don't have to have this big construction that I have. Uh, you can use a ladder or uh, just hooks in the ceiling. Um, but I wanted it to uh, be over the seating as well and that's why we built it this big. I hope you're not tired of my pergola uh, ceiling yet. Um, I'm I think I'm going to use it for my Easter decor as well, and then I'll take it down. So um, I'm really pleased with the decor. Uh, as you saw, I uh, put some um, 
white uh, the core sand uh, Uryan <laughs> Come would you go up? Can you? you? <laughs> Come would you go up? Can you lift it up? He wants to go on the couch <laughs> Okay, guys, uh, the dogs, of course, I think they can smell when I turn on the camera. As I was saying, I used some decor sand in the bottom just so that the candle wasn't going to get too hot and crack the, the lantern. Uh, if you're going to hang them like mine, I think it's a good idea to make the handle as... Uh, long as I have done so that whatever you use to hang them with uh, does not uh, get too hot and and snap off. I wanted to use a uh, fishing line but I didn't dare because I was afraid that the heat from the candle I think I would have been okay because it's not too hot but that's something to think about. Okay guys if you are new, I hope you will subscribe and hit the notification bell. Uh, I try to upload a new video every week. I've had a kind of a <laughs> bad YouTube start on 2020, uh, but I'm sure I'm going to do better. It's been a lot with uh, old animals and old people and a lot to do. Um, yeah. Uh, Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. That will help my channel. And I hopefully will see you in a couple of days with a new episode of Grandma's Corner, which I'm going to give a new name. And this time I'm going to talk about how to communicate uh, in a better way maybe, or at least, uh, I hope it will give you uh, some good reflections on how you communicate with your spouse or your partner or uh, your loved ones. So I will hope that video will be out on Wednesday, Thursday. And then we'll go into, I'll start thinking about Easter. I will leave you with uh, some footage of the table and the other uh, and the other decor I have done for Valentine's. So have a wonderful Valentine's guys and I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>
Listen on.